Earthlings, imagine walking through a cosmic museum where the exhibits are not paintings or fossils, but planets so bizarre that even our Andromeda processors lack trying to classify them. You think of planets as round, rocky, or gaseous, predictable, safe categories. But the universe is not a schoolbook diagram. It is like a chaos engine that births worlds with molten glass, rain, endless darkness, or atmosphere that could shred you faster than your internet connection during peak hours. These strange planets are not rare exhibitions. They are reminders that the universe thrives on creativity far stranger than human imagination. What makes this fascinating is that every bizarre planet discovered is like a glitch in the grand simulation, something that challenges your scientist's definition of what a planet should be. Earthlings expect order, gravity, orbits, atmosphere, yet the cosmos throws a lava ocean world here, a rogue planet drifting into the void there, as if to say your rules don't apply here. And that, Earthlings, is why we begin our transmission. Because to truly understand the universe, you must embrace its weirdness. So to recap, space is basically a planetary thrift shop where nothing matches, everything smells weird, and somehow you still end up buying something you regret. Earthlings, prepare yourself. If you thought pineapple on pizza was controversial, wait until you see planets raining shards of glass sideways. Our first stop is 55 Canary E, often called the lava world. Imagine Earth but instead of blue oceans and green forests, the entire surface is a sea of molten rock. This place is so close to its start that the temperatures reach over 2000 degrees Celsius, enough to melt iron like butter. One hemisphere is permanently facing the star, scorched and glowing with rivers of lava, where temperatures still remain unimaginably high. Scientists suspect the atmosphere may be made of vaporized rock itself, creating a hellish cycle where rock evaporates, drifts upwards, and then rains back down as molten droplets. Why does this matter? Because 55 Cancri E is a mirror held up to Earth's past and possible future. Billions of years ago, young Earth was covered in magma oceans just like this. And billions of years into your future, as your sun swells into a red giant, Earth too might be roasted into a glowing ember. This planet, in all its fiery madness, is not just bizarre. It is a prophecy. Translation, 55 Canary E is basically a pizza oven the size of a planet. Drop a donkey there, instant barbecue. Drop humanity there, you would last about 0.2 seconds before turning into a cosmic fondue. Honestly, that makes me wonder, Earthlings. Why do you spend so much money inventing new hot sauces when the universe has already invented the planet-sized lava? Our second bizarre world is HD 189733B famous for its sapphire blue color. But don't be fooled, this is no typical paradise. That beautiful blue comes from silicate particles in its atmosphere, which means when it rains, it doesn't drizzle water, it rains shards of glass. Imagine storm whipping at 7000 km per hour. For any life form or spaceship, that would be a dead sentence by a trillion microscopic cuts. The planet is also a gas giant, about the size of Jupiter but with conditions so extreme that human science fiction barely scratches the surface. Here, the laws of survival change. Beauty equates danger, and the glittering blue of its skies is the shimmer of destruction. It reminds Earthlings that not everything beautiful is safe, and not every world is welcoming. Okay, so let me get this straight. Humans look up at night sky, see a shiny blue dot, and go, wow, what a lovely planet. Let's imagine aliens sipping cocktails there reality check? It's basically a blender made of glass and wind. <laughs> Earthlings, if you think your Mondays are rough, imagine commuting across a world where the weather forecast is shards of glass at supersonic speed. Earthlings are fond of Saturn's rings, but what if I told you there is a planet whose rings make Saturn look like a hula hop toy? Meet J1407b, nicknamed Super Saturn. This gas giant ring stretches over 200 times larger than Saturn's, spanning hundreds of millions of kilometers. If such a planet were in your solar system, its rings would dominate your night sky, bright arcs filling the heavens, visible even during the night. Imagine living under skies permanently painted with glowing planetary jewelry. 
J1407b rings contain enough material to build dozens of Earth-sized moons. These colossal rings remind you that your solar system is modest in comparison to the extravagance scattered across the cosmos, but also challenge scientists to rethink planetary formation, because such enormous rings shouldn't survive for long. They're fragile, temporary wonders, cosmic fireworks before silence. It's Saturn on steroids. Honestly, if Earthlings had the sky like that, your entire civilization would collapse because you would all be busy posting selfies with the ring behind you. Forget science, Instagram would become a galactic religion. Now let us consider the strangest of all planetary fates. Rogue planets. Worlds without a sun. Imagine a planet wandering through galaxy alone in eternal darkness, lit only by the faint glow of starlight millions of kilometers away. These planets are not bound to any star. They were ejected during the violent birth of solar system, cast into the void to drift endlessly. What makes rogue planets bizarre is that they can still harbor warmth deep underground, fueled by radioactive decay and internal heat. Some theories even suggest subsurface oceans, meaning life could lurk on worlds completely detached from stars. For Earthlings, used to worshipping the sun as the giver of life, rogue planets are a reminder that life may not need sunlight at all. It may need only persistence in the dark. So basically space orphans, homeless planets drifting like cosmic hitchhikers. Earthlings, you panic when your Wi-Fi goes down for 30 minutes. Imagine living on a planet that hasn't had a sun since birth. Talk about living in your mom's basement, but on a galactic scale. Some of you grew up watching twin suns setting on a desert world in your science fiction stories. Well, fiction became reality with Kepler-16b, a planet that orbits not one, but two stars. This world experiences double shadows, double sunrises, and sunsets that would stretch across the horizon like firelit paintings. Its temperature, however, is frigid. Despite two suns, it's not warm, but cold and gaseous, a planet inhospitable to Earth's life. Kepler-16b matters because it proves that planetary system can be far stranger than your imagination predicted. Binary star systems are common in the galaxy, which means there are countless planets experiencing surreal skies, where light and shadow dance in ways Earthlings have never seen. Your stories predicted it, and the universe quietly confirmed it. So congratulations, Earthlings, you finally got your Tatooine. Except instead of cool sand peoples and epic pod racing, you just get a frozen gas ball with two suns glaring down like annoyed landlord. Honestly, it's the cosmic equivalent of buying the toy you always wanted as a kid, only to realize it's made of cheap plastic. Now, we descend into shadow, Earthlings. Meet Tress 2B a planet so dark it reflects less than 1% of the light that hits it. Imagine a gas giant the size of a Jupiter, but blacker than coal, darker than the asphalt at midnight. From a distance, it's nearly invisible against the void, absorbing starlight, as if it were designed to hide. Scientists cannot fully explain its darkness. Its atmosphere may contain exotic chemicals that swallow light, or perhaps something stranger still. The bizarre part is not just its appearance, it's that Tress 2B glows faintly red from within, like embers buried in ash. A world that looks dead, but secretly burns, for humans who equate brightness with life. This planet is a paradox, alive with fire, yet cloaked in shadows. So basically it's the emo teenager of the galaxy, all black on the outside, glowing angst on the inside. If Earthlings could colonize it, they would turn it into a giant concert stage for your darkest rock bands. I can already see it. Live from Tress 2B, the blackest shadow in the universe. If you thought planets orbited stars peacefully, prepare to meet Wasp 12B. This planet is so close to its star that it is literally being devoured by it, and devouring in return. Wasp 12B is stretched into an egg shaped by tidal forces its atmosphere spilling away as the star pulls at it. Yet the planet also steals material from its star in a vicious cosmic tug of war. This is more than bizarre, it's tragic. Planets are supposed to be shaped by stars. But here, the star and the planet are locked into a deadly embrace, 
destroying each other slowly. Scientists estimate WASP-12p has only a few million years left before it's completely consumed. A reminder, Earthlings, that nothing lasts forever, not even stars and their planets. A planet eating its own star? Now that's commitment. Meanwhile, Earthlings can't even finish their leftovers. Honestly, WASP-12b is like that toxic couple that can't stop fighting but also can't stop posting about their soulmate journey on social media. We have shown you lava worlds, glass storms, ringed giants, star eaters, and planets wandering without suns. Yet even this is only the beginning. The universe contains more planets than grains of sand on your world's beaches, and everyone could hold a surprise stranger than the last. What you call bizarre is simply the cosmos expressing itself. Endlessly creative, endlessly chaotic, for Earthlings, these planets are warnings and wonders. They prove life beyond Earth may not be friendly and survival is not guaranteed. But they also prove the universe is richer, deeper and stranger than your imagination dares to dream. Here's the takeaway. Earthlings, your planet might be weird with traffic jams, taxes and karaoke. But out there... You've got planets that rain glass sideways, star-guzzling death worlds, and ring systems that could blot out your sky. So if you're feeling ordinary, remember, compared to the universe, you're already bizarre. And hey, if even we are confused, you know it's bad.